Breaking news, Nigerians. Tunubu, Tunubu's nightmare is compounded as Showare drops bond share. <laughs> See explosive statement he made that shocked everyone. Nigerians, this is getting really very bad for President Bola Tunubu. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Omoyele Oshowari, the African Action Congress, AAC presidential candidate in the both the 2019 and 2023 presidential elections, has expressed disappointment as regarding the recurring instances of certificate scandals and forgeries among Nigerian leaders. In an explosive statement made at the Federal High Court in Abuja after a court hearing in a case involving allegations of cyber talking brought against him by Ned, Senator Ned, Shaware claimed that Nigerian leaders exhibit similar behaviors regardless of their political party affiliations. All Nigerian leaders have something in common. With the certificate scandal, Shawari said. Can we imagine that President Bola Tinubu was accused of certificate forgery? He did not even defend himself anymore. He said even Atiku does not have a certificate too. Shawari also criticized the Nigerian education system, questioning how Peter Obi, the Labour Party presidential candidate, was able to enter university with E. Eight and E, eight and F nine grades. According to Shuari, Nigeria is the only country in the world where leaders trade accusations of thief and certificate forgery. How did he get into the university? Shuari asked. Like we have said. There is no way this country can develop under the kind of rulers we have or the system you see here. There are just buildings. Shoare also Shoare has been a vocal critic of the Nigerian government for years, called for a revolution to address the country's married problems. All forms of justice in Nigeria are dead, he said. The revelation is the only remedy to Nigeria's, uh, Nigeria's problem. Shoare's assumption has sparked a wave of reactions on social media and the traditional media. Some Nigerians have es expressed their support for Shoare, while others have dismissed his claims as unfounded. Shoare's statement comes at a time when Nigeria is grappling with a number of challenges including widespread poverty, corruption, insecurity, and religious extremism. Shawari's statement has several implications for Nigerians' political landscape. First, it highlights the deep-seated corruption and lack of accountability that pre pervades Nigerian society. The fact that many of the country's leaders have been accused of certificate forgery, raises serious questions about their integrity and competence. Second, Shawari's statement could erode public trust in the Nigerian government and its institutions. If Nigerians believe that their leaders are corrupt and dishonest, they are less likely to cooperate with the government and they, particip and they participate in the political process. Third, Shawari's call for a revolution could further destabilize Nigerians already fragile political situation. The country has a long history of violence and instability, and Shawari's statement could be seen as an incitement to violence. To address the issues raised by Shawari, Nigeria needs to take steps to improve its education system and reduce corruption because that is what it's really crippling this country. Every session in this country, every session, I'm talking about 
the education system everywhere, they are all corrupt. In addition, Nigeria needs to strengthen its institutions and promote the rule of law. This will help to ensure that everyone is held accountable for their actions, regardless of their social status or political affiliation. Nigerians also need to play a role in addressing the country's problems. They should demand transparency and accountability from their leaders and participate in the political process. You understand? Because when you say, eh, it does not concern me, it does not concern me as something is going wrong. This is a shame. This is a disgrace. Okay, let's just go back to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu certificate forgery. You can understand that t today, the president of Nigeria have not denied the fact that the certificate he presented to the Chicago State University was forged or it was not. Now people, they talk for, for him. You understand? Only waiting with the hear now actions now they take. If people, if anybody go for the certificates now, say you won't enter any ministry, the world will hear the matter. Because this the same people when we say them they did they not even get certificates. Now then go they drag your leg and left, leg, hands here and there. Then they there. Don't be surprised that if they go check what is actually going on in the name political land uh, escape a uh, scope. So many senators now might, might not have certificate. Governors, so many of them might not have certificates. What are we talking about? And people want to, to, to fight corruption. How? <laughs> Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain in this in this country. You understand? There is fire on the mountain. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel.